He was an Ali Medin. He was the greatest scholar of his time. And today, it is very fortunate. <coughs> it is absolutely amazing that we have this man of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. <coughs> he is the most knowledgeable that I have ever seen in my life. I have never seen a man more pious than Hujur Muhaddisay Kabir. Hujur Muhaddisay Kabir is, is such a personality that he has looked after me. Everything I have is from I can't believe that he is still alive and I live away from him. How I wish that I stayed with him, I traveled with him, I want to become a slave. It is so unfortunate that I I live so far away from this great Shaykh. Wallahi Razim, I have never seen a more beautiful man than Huzur Mahdi Kabir. I have never seen a more Kamil insan than Huzur Mahdi Kabir. Everything I have learned is from Huzur Mahdi Kabir. When he leaves this world, Wallahi, it is going to be a time of darkness. It is because of Huzur Mahdi Kabir that today we can keep our heads high. When we walk in the streets, in different places, we walk with our heads high because he is still alive. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala lengthen his age. Give plenty of barakah in his age. Amen. Respected audience, there are so many things that I know. I know of Shaykh Huzur Mahdi Sekabi that I, I cannot mention today. If I mention in front of the people, people wouldn't believe me. They would think I am insane. They are not for me to mention today. But inshallah when that time comes, I will mention them as well. This is such a great man that when I, when I became a murid of Huzur Mahdi Kabir, since then, since then, and this continues to happen till today, that in my dream when I sleep, I see a light shining in front of me. And I see that I am sleeping on the bed that I am. And I see this light shining, coming closer to me. And then from that light appears Huzur Mahdi Sayyid Kabir. And then with his stick, he hits my feet and he says, Wake up, it is time for Fajr. And Wallahi, when I wake up, it is time for Fajr. This is how great this person is. Wallahi, you are fortunate. You know, there's a question that arises in my mind. That when he comes to Holland, why are there people? Why are the Muslims not here? Why are we so few? When he comes to England, there are so many people who know who he is. Who know that this is the son of Sadru Sharia. The Sadru Sharia who was the right hand of Allah Hazrat Imam Ahmad Raza radiallahu ta'ala. The nisbat of Huzur Muhaddis Kabir to Allah Hazrat is the closest. He is the son of Sadru Sharia who was the right hand of Huzur Imam Ahmad Raza radiallahu ta'ala. He was the one who led the janazah of Imam Ahmad Raza radiallahu ta'ala. He was the one who saw in his dream that Imam Ahmad Raza radiallahu ta'ala came and said to him that stand O Sadr Sharia, I am still alive, I am with you. Subhanallah. And Sadr Sharia Lay Rahma says that from that time I have never had a problem in solving matters of Sharia. He is the son of Huzur Sadr Sharia Lay Rahma. His knowledge, even if he was not the son of Sadr Sharia Lay Rahma, his knowledge gives him such a great status that he is known as Sultanul Asatidah. He is the Sultan of teachers. If you go into the Madaris of Hindustan, the teachers that are there, he is their teacher. 
great, great scholars. You can say that the teacher of such and such a person is he. His teacher is he. His teacher is he. His teacher is Huzur Muhaddis Kabir, who's still alive. So many generations. Huzur Muhaddis Kabir is such a great personality, and people are aware who he is. Wherever he goes, there are many people who have ikhtilaf, without doubt. There are many people who have ikhtilaf. They can say whatever they want, but when Huzur Muhaddis Kabir attends that place, when he even steps foot in that city or town where that person resides who has ikhtilaf, their tongues are bitten by cats. They, they can't speak. They can't speak. They begin to shake when they come in the presence of Huzur Muhaddis Kabir. And even they say that we cannot speak in front of him. He is respected by all. People may have ikhtilaf with him, but everybody respects him. Up to the extent that even the Dev Bandis, they know who he is. And they are shaken when they hear his name. Even the Shias, even the Ahli Hadith, any, any wrong sect of Islam you can think of, they are aware of him. He travels in the world, he travels in the world more than the President of America. And what does he do in his travels? He travels and he does the belief of the deen. He lectures the people. This is what Shaykh Abdul Qadir Jilani radiallahu ta'ala used to do. He used to lecture the people. And that is what Shaykh Huzur Muhaddis Kabir does. Now the question that arises in my mind is that why are only a certain amount of people present? Why do the other people not come when they know who he is? And there's only one answer that I can think of. Jise chaha dar pe bula liya. Jise chaha apna bana liya. Ye bade karam ke hai faisle, ye bade naseeb ki baat hai. He, Allah, Ya Rasulullah. He only brings towards himself those he wants to. And those who don't come, he doesn't want them to come. They don't come because he doesn't want them to come. Allah. And we come because he wants us to come. Allah. And that is the only way I can justify why those people don't come. Because everybody knows who this person is. And let me tell you that when Huzul Muhaddis Kabir speaks, he measures every word. Every word that he uses is measured before it leaves his mouth. Before it leaves his blessed mouth, he thinks and he measures and only then does he speak. He's not one of them speakers who have the skill of the art of speaking and they come on and they speak in such a speed or in such a loud voice. Huzul Muhaddis Kabir is very cautious in what he says. Every word is measured before it leaves the, mouth, the blessed mouth of Huzul Muhaddis Kabir. I have, I, have seen, I have seen him with a very close eye. I have lived with him, I have traveled with him, and I have uh, done qayam with him. And trust me, people say that if you live with a person, the more you live with them, the more you start moving away from them. But the, 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 the state of Huzul Muhaddis Kabir is such that the more I stayed, the more closer I got, the more love increased in my heart. And I cannot explain how much, I cannot explain how much I love Huzul Muhaddis Kabir. But what I can say is that trust me, I, when, when he is there, try and be in his company as much as possible. Try and learn from him as much as possible. And when we look into the Quran, the Quran, he was mentioning himself yesterday, Ya ayyuhalladheena amanu attaqullaha wa kunu ma'as sadiqeen. That all believers fear Allah, now which simply means that you are a believer, so Allah is already uh, establishing that you are a believer. And then, ittaqullah, fear Allah, gain taqwa. Gain taqwa. So you have belief, you have iman, then you have taqwa, yet after that, it is still not enough. Allah says, وَكُونُوا مَعَ الصَّادِقِينَ And take the company 
of the pious people. Which means even if you have Iman, even if you have Taqwa, even if you have it, you are still not enough until you be with the Sadiqeen, until you be with the truthful, the pious, until you be with the people of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Huzur Muhaddis Kabir has spent his time in the feet of his own father, Huzur Sadr al-Shariya Rahma, in the feet of Huzur Hafiz al-Millat, Rahmatullahi ta'ala alayhi wa radiyallahu an, and in the feet of Huzur Mufti Azam al-Hind, Rahmatullahi ta'ala alayhi. And these are the men of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. These are the Sadiqeen. And because Huzur Muhaddis al-Kabir spent his time with them, and they favored him so much, that that is another speech, that is another topic. His life, his life is so vast, and it is full of so many beautiful incidents, that it's another speech. When we talk about how much they gifted him. But all I want to mention now is that he sat in their company. He took from them. They gave to him up to the extent that he copies every, every style and every manner of his, of his teachers and his masters. And he, he tells us himself. He once told me that Huzur Hafiz al Millat, Rahmatullahi Ta'ala, ta always used to say that make sure your trousers are high. Make sure what you're wearing here is not a rubber band and it is, it is a string. And he, he used to tell them things like this. He used to say, this is how you do this, this is how you do this. And he used to say that I, I, am, I copy Huzur Sadr Sharia Alayhi Rahma. And he used to say that I want people to copy me as well. And he copies, when I ask him, uh, your Imam Sharif, for example, this is just an example. If you look at my Imam Sharif, it is going towards the left hand side. Yes, you can see that? It's going towards the left hand side. Now, I asked Huzur, okay, why is that? Why does it go towards the left hand side? And he says that because this is how Mufti Azam al Hindale Rahma used to wear it. This is how they used to wear it. And then he showed me that the Imama starts from the back. And when the Imama begins from the back, then this is the right hand side, so it goes this way. Yes, yeah, so that's why from the front it's, it's, it's going towards the left. But it's starting at the back, so it's going to look towards the right. And all these things he does, he, he copies the way of the Huzul Mufti Azam al Hindale Rahma and the Huzul Hafiz al Millat al Rahma and all these ulama al And that is the reason why that the ulama today say that if you want to see the knowledge of fatwa of Mufti Azam al Hindale Rahma, then you should see Huzul Muhammad Sekabir. If you want to see the knowledge of fiqh, that Sadru Sharia Alayhi Rahma had, then see Huzur Muhaddis Kabir. If you want to see the knowledge of Hadith that Huzur Hafiz Millat Alayhi Rahma had, Huzur Muhaddis Azam Pakistan had, you should see Muhaddis Kabir. In every science of knowledge, he has, he has, an, he has an expertise, he, he, he has mastered them, them sciences. He's not just a master of one field. If you see him in the, in the field of Tafsir, Subhanallah. It's, when you sit in that dars, you'll feel that no man can do tafsir like this. Allah. When you sit in the dars of hadith, you will be amazed. When you see in the, sit in, the, in a dars of fiqh, you'll be amazed. And we see that. Many of us have seen that every, every time Hazrat comes and he, he does speeches in front of us. Huzur Muhaddis al-Kabir, in, in India, he has so many students, so many students. Once uh, Hazrat was traveling and uh, the, in India, the roads, you know how the roads are, and it, it was the time of rain, and it was raining, and the, one of the wheels of the cars got stuck into mud, and they were trying to get it on, and Hazrat himself came out in his beautiful libas, the libas that he wears. When I see him wearing this beautiful libas, it reminds me, it makes me think that this is how Huzul Sheikh Abdul Qadir Jilani radiallahu ta'ala must have looked. And this is how he dresses, and same with Huzur Taj Sharia, that they, they, they dress in such a way. Now, he came out himself in that libas, and he's pushing the, pushing the car. And it's one of the big cars, and he, he's pushing it, and his, his clothes got dirty. But he, this is how he treats people. He, he's, he comes down to such a level. And he pushed, and then when he got to the place, he didn't 
Father, he went straight onto the stage in front of the people in that state. And there he said, is any of my students present here? Any one of my students? And so many people put their hands up. And this was in, I, I'm, I, if I can remember correctly, I think this was in Kashmir. Or maybe not. But so many people put their hands up. And he, he chose one of them and he took them to his house to, to wash whatever went. But this is Huzur Muhaddis Kabir, that he is such an amazing person. And there is so much that I can't say about Huzur Muhaddis Kabir. When I look into the hadith of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, what the Sahaba Ikram said about Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, that when the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was seen on his own, on his own, in the masjid, sitting on his own, he seemed like he had the burden of all the worlds on his, on his shoulders. He, he, he was deep in thought, he was contemplating, he, was, he looked worried. And this was when he was in contact with, his, with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He was so serious. And when I see Huzur Muhaddis Kabir, when, he, when he's on his own and he's not talking to anybody, that is what I see. I see that very same similar characteristic. And then the Sahaba Kiram have recorded that when the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam sat amongst the Sahaba Kiram, he would be smiling, he'd be laughing, he'd be happy, and he, he would joke with the Sahaba Kiram. And this was the character of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And that is what I see when I see Huzur Muhaddis Kabir. When he sits with us, he, he smiles, he laughs, he jokes with us. And I, I can, I always relate it back to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. These are the men of Allah subhanahu wa taala. If you want to follow the Quran, then the Quran says, sit with these people, stay in the company of these people, and try and gain as much as you can from these people. Try and copy their ways, copy their styles, and try, try your utmost best to respect them in all times. Never to raise your voice in their presence and. Uh, Always make sure that you don't you don't ever hurt hurt their hearts. And I remember uh, a hadith uh, that Imam Ghazali, rahmatullahi taala has mentioned. He says that when a man worships Allah subhanahu wa taala for a whole year, pure saal Allah ki ibadat kare, and all throughout the nights. And every day of that year he fasts. So Hazat ko ibadat and Hazdin ko roza ek pure saal ke liye. The amount of sawab, the amount of reward that a person gets when he looks at an Ali Medin, just one glance, just one glance, when you look at an Ali Medin, just one glance then that person is rewarded more than that worship of Allah. Subhanallah. Think one hum, 300 and how many, year, how many days of night worship and fasting, you get more reward. And this is not only an alim. This is the, the alim of so many ulama. He has made so many ulama. He, he is the one rightful of, say, of, of calling, being called al-lama. Al that is Huzul Muhaddis Kabir. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us all the tawfiq to stay in his company as much as possible and follow his ways and <coughs> fulfill his commands. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give uh, a, a, a very uh, lengthy life to Huzul Muhaddis Kabir, full, full with barakah and uh, healthiness. May he always remain healthy and free from uh, problems. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala look, look after him as well. And uh, now I invite uh, Zainul Abidin to recite uh, Munkar.